Okay, let's try on page 30. We're going to study how to solve word problems involving monetary value. Now, the problems pick up on page 31, so that's where we're going to start. We're going to start with problem number one on page 31. It says, two girls went to the store for rice and sugar. One girl bought three kilograms of sugar and two kilograms of rice for 325. The other bought two kilograms of sugar and two kilograms of rice for 250. Find the price per kilogram for both the sugar and rice. What we're supposed to do here is set up a system of equations. Okay, so you're gonna have two different equations. So the first one is actually pretty simple. The first one is going to be um, she bought pretty much, we'll, we'll say that kilograms is just units, we're going to deal in units, three units of sugar, so put S there, plus she also got two units of rice, and that equaled 325. The next girl bought two units of sugar and two of rice for 250. Now let's go ahead and solve this. Now there's a few different ways we can solve this. You may want to do substitution. Sometimes that's the easiest. So, or you know what we could do. I think in this case, substitution is probably not the best way, most easiest. The easiest way is to do it by adding the two together. The way we do that is we need to set up pretty much um, opposites in terms of one of these variables. So if we multiply everything here by negative one, so everything becomes, this is a negative, everything becomes a negative here. We haven't changed any value here. We're allowed to do that. We're just multiplying each term by the same number. And then we add them all together. We see that these cancel out. This here becomes 75 cents. And this right here just becomes S. So we know that the unit S is being sold for 75 cents. Let's go ahead and plug that back into one of the equations to figure out what R, or rice, is selling for. So let's use, let's use the top equation. So 3 times 0 0.75 plus 2R equals 325. Get your calculator out, unless you have that memorized. And put in 3 times 0 0.75, which is 225. 225 plus 2R equals 325. So let's subtract 225 from each side. 2R equals, this is just a dollar. So if we divide by 2, we're going to come up with R equals 50 cents. So now we know the prices for both units. All we have to do now is check our answer. So let's go ahead and plug both of them in to, let's use the bottom equation this time. So 2 times 0.75, because the price for those, plus 2 times 0.5, or 50 cents, should equal, so this together is $1.50, and this is just a dollar, and that equals $2.50 which is the right answer. So we've checked it all, we've got it. So just remember how to look at things in terms of units and create a system of equations. Now, 
we're going to skip ahead to page 32 and try problem number three. Find two numbers such that four times the first number minus four times the second number equals 24 and the second and twice the first number plus the second number equals 30. Okay, that was a lot of words and it seems kind of confusing, but it's not quite not quite as confusing as we might think. We just need to figure out where one equation starts and where another one also starts. Because we know we're going to have a system of equations, which is two different equations. We also know that we're dealing with two different numbers. So why don't we use two different variables, x and y. So we're going to have, we're going to have x and y out there. So let's see where the first one, before we come to the word and, we have the first equation. So find two numbers such that four times the first number, let's say x is the first number, okay? So four times the first number minus four, so subtract four times the second number, which is y, should equal 24. That's one of them. Now it says and, so we're starting a new equation and twice the first number okay, plus the second number add it should equal 30. Okay, so what's a good way to solve this? We could solve for y right here, isolate y and then plug it back in and we can use substitution. Or what we could do is we could times all these by four and that would create pretty much the opposite of this one and then cancel out. I think I prefer that. I'm just feeling like using addition today. Either way is fine. For me, I feel like it's just a little bit better to use um, adding to solve this one. So let's times everything by four on this and this side. So you have 8x. Okay, 8x plus 4y equals 120. And let's plus this one and this one. So don't don't look at this here. We've already got that step done. This is going to be 12x, this here cancels out, and you have 144 here. So this here this should come out to 12. 12 for x. Okay, now that we figured out one of them, let's go ahead and plug it in to, say, the top equation. Okay, so we're going to put 12 in for x. Uh, let's write it over here because we're kind of running out of space. 4 times 12 minus 4y equals, oh, can we get it in there? 24? <laughs> Barely get it in there. Okay, I'm going to have to write a little bit smaller. So 48 minus 4y equals 24. So I'll subtract. Um, in this case, I think we could subtract 48 over. But we're going to have to get rid of this negative sign anyway, so let's let's just switch these to each side. So we're going to add 4y to each side, and we're also going to, at the same time, subtract 24 from this side and from this side. Why do we do that? Well, it's going to come out real nice and clean here. So these ones, of course, cancel out. So you're left with 4y over here, and then 48 minus 24, which is just 24 over here. So 24 equals 4y, 4, 4y four should equal 6. So x equals 12, 6, uh, y equals 6. The last thing we need to do is check our answer. So let's just plug both of these into, uh, how about the bottom equation? So let's see here. Um, Bottom equation was twice the first, 
twice the first number plus the second number equals 30. Okay, that seems easy enough. So 2 times 12, which is the first number, plus 6 should equal 30. This comes out to 24 plus 6 equals 30, and that is correct. So you've solved it. You've got it right. Good job.